this is Tired Geek Woman with Adventures with Three Anne and Ken Seed part number 21. And we're going to take up right where we left off last time, which was getting ready to talk to Ash about the baby situation. Now that we've got like a million corn dolls, okay, not a million, but we've got quite a few. And it seems like Ash should be coming soon. If he's not, we can go do our evening run around. It's not, you can see it's not very dark. Sometimes I think it's darker when it's raining. Um, obviously if you've got clouds, I found you by that. I find that to be interesting and immersive. It's more realistic that it would be not quite so dark if there wasn't clouds. So like a moon filled sky, you're going to be able to see better. Ooh, look at all those. I have a bunch of rainbow mushrooms. I need to hang on to those. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, let's see. Um, what I'm looking for is things that bring about virility, which helps with baby making. So um, I knew that there was a number of things, uh, but I know some that aren't necessary. I can't, like, I think leeks uh, give virility. I think carrots do. Um, I think knob teeth do. I'm not sure are all. And he, I was hoping he would be back by now, but he's not. So um, we are going to run over here to the fish pond, see if we can get some moonfish. Um, it's like, turn off that light. <laughs> I don't want to chase away the fish that I may or may not catch. And, oh good, a night berry. Yay. Uh, we can't fish for it, for Pete's sakes. I hate it when I, I, I have a mouse that's going bad on me. So I'll click and then I'll have to click again. Uh, this little area here usually has a couple of fish in it and I can never remember what fish they are. So let's find out. Ooh, hit it right on the head and it was an eel. Uh, must be the time of night or something. And I looked to see if there was another one. And no. And you saw me catch two. And that's one of the uh, increases that I got when I increased my fishing skill. So there's two different levels of skills. Oh good, Ash is back. Two different levels of skills. We're going to talk about that after a bit. Right now we're going to talk to Ash about this baby situation. So uh, first off, let's check the pack he brought back. Oh, look at that. Six more experience. So he's bringing all kinds of goodies back home. Thank you, Ash. It's a family job. Where is he? Where are you? <laughs> Sometimes he's not where I expect. It's 11 p.m. Where is he at wandering around? Where are you at, buddy? I know you're home. Why are you hiding from me? Maybe he doesn't want to have the baby conversation. Huh. Oh, there he is. All right. Okay. So, there's a number of things that can improve your chances of having babies. Now, you notice he's... I think what's happening is he hasn't gotten all the way home yet because he's not following me. I think that's a bug, um, but I will have to look it up and see and see if someone else has posted it. Um, so it's like, follow me. So I'm going to give him a gift. So I want to give him something that causes virility and, and I like your thoughtfulness. Well, you're welcome. Now follow me. No, he's still, I think what happened was he had not gotten home from his adventures. So I got to wait till he's all the way in the house and I guess he'll have to hit a certain spot. No, nope, he still won't follow me. So I, I don't know that the, I've not had this happen before in my um, test plays. So I think it's because he just hadn't gotten home all the way. And I don't know where it is he gets home all the way to. So I'm kind of waiting until he gets there. Wherever there is. So come on, Ash. Oh, what? Fine. <laughs> he said, no, I'm going to bed. All right. We'll get up at dawn, Mr. Ash. We want to have this conversation and we're going to have this conversation. I don't care if you like it or not. So come on. Follow me. All right. Now he is. I guess he just, he was exhausted and needed some sleep. Okay, fine. Let you have some sleep. Uh, since I slept, I'm going to feed the brownie bowl. Just anything. All right. Being a brownie bowl has been fed. Come with me, my love. My dearest husband. 
come with me. Now, there are date spot. There's one date spot on the farm. There's no circle there, but what happens? Look how he slowed down. It's right there. That is a date spot. So you want to take him to a date spot. You want to give them a gift that uh, causes virility. And then you want to give them a, uh, what is it called? A rabbit corn doll. I'm going to give them the highest quality. And did you clean your teeth first? So this is the baby making feature. It gives you this wheel. The yellow on the wheel is dependent upon the date spot location, the virility, and apparently the virility, my own virility too. So I should have eaten something too. So I'm, I said before that there are, I, it's going to take more than one. <laughs> I don't know anyone that's got it on their first time. And um, the uh, baby making thing, it can go, it can actually go bad and hurt your relationship. And he's saying, let's go. All right, it's, it's really funny. Uh, but they make it uh, kid friendly and everything. So it's, you know, just the little things that he says and where it lands uh, can be kind of interesting. Ah, uh, not again. Not again. And let's see, what is he going to say this time? I don't know. I don't want to hurt my relationship. Excuse me while I go cry with disappointment and a 20 friendship points. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Ash. We're going to make this better. And say, I like your thoughtfulness. Okay, great. So, so we're just going to keep giving him the rabbit corn dolls and just keep trying. I know there's a possibility to have twins, but it's not on my wheel. And I think it has to do with a number of things, including uh, higher, vir I needed higher virility. Come on, slow down, slow down, slow down. Ah, oh, no. This looks like a snooze. This looks like a bad one. You need to take something to help with that problem. A negative 10 friend points. Oh my gosh. Come on, Ash. And so let's try it one more time. I'll give you, uh, he already still had the virility thing. So we're going to just give him the corn doll. And have you cleaned that corn doll? So there's a lot of things that could have brought about twins. I have never been able to make it happen. And I think it's because I don't have good enough uh, foods that would have caused to have the twins option show up on the wheel. And not again. Oh my gosh. I am very determined. We are going to have a baby. That was memorable. Exchange the memorable for forgettable. Oh my gosh. Poor guy. We're having a baby, Ash. Take me to Opal. <laughs> Again, like I said, there's there's some some things that would be a little bit adult, but the kids are not going to know, so that's okay. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 this might be it, this might be it. <gasps> we did it, we did it, we did it. Finally, we're going to have a baby. Congratulations, God has blessed you with the child. The stork will deliver a new bundle of joy to your home in one week's time. Yay! Finally. Oh, we are so lucky. Must think of a good name. Yes, we must think of a good name. And it helped. We got 19 friendship points finally. So he's happy. And then, of course, we click on him, tell him to stop, follow you around. So that's the baby making ritual. It puts it on your task list and it tells me what day. First of winter in year number six between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. If you don't collect him before seven, then it will be looked after by pot which is another reason to keep that brownie bowl full. So in seven days, we're going to see the baby delivery mechanism. So that's going to be in a future episode because I don't believe we'll have, we'll play seven days here. So you'll have to watch future episodes to be able to see that. So I just think that is a really interesting mechanism, how that all works. And uh, we'll see. And I've never been able to get twins. I've been really... Uh, jealous of those who have but i i've never had good enough foods um uh, and you have i knew you had to pick a date location someone said that helped maybe i just picked a bad date location i don't know we got two more chances you can have up to three children and it is my plan to have three children so um nice big family and it gives you three children to choose an heir from and they have their own uh, stats and things so you can choose between them 
and decide which one would be the best heir for your family. So, yay, we got a baby on the way. I'm so excited. <laughs> and let's see what we got on the shelf here. And uh, uh, it's 6 a.m., so I wanted to come here as quickly as I could since we got up early today and see if I can't make a few things. Uh, I want to add the catnip that I picked up and some of these other things that I've picked up so that we aren't having to purchase things like cave, um, cave ward, I think it's called, fun flowers. Uh, let's go ahead and put some of those in there and just try to keep this stocked up as much as possible. I was really glad I got the iris. That's a great ingredient to have. A uh, little sap, keep that going. So there's lots of things that I, that I have recalled using and the things I know how to use. There's some of these remedies I can't make because I can't get the ingredients yet. Um, so because they're in locations I can't get to. So that's okay. That gives us something to look forward to and it will increase our shop uh, reputation hopefully. One thing that happens as your shop increases in reputation is you'll start seeing people show up from other realms. So that's really interesting when it starts happening because it's like, okay, I can start meeting these people who I don't even, I've never been to their area before. So it's kind of funny. And um, so anyway, we're going to make a few things here. Um, we can do charm with that and time with that. And there we go, spring with. And like, again, I'm trying to hurry as fast as I can. The shop opens at nine and when I walked into it, it was 6 a.m. And so kind of the faster you do this, the faster you can make more potions in the time that you have. And if you're having str struggling with that, if you're not able, if you got your shop open too long and you're not able to make stuff, close your shop for a couple of days. There's no reason that you can't. And you can continue to, um, make a whole bunch of potions spend day and night if you got tons of ingredients just make as many potions as you can and then open your shop so i think i had my shop closed the first day so that i can make some extra remedies so we got ourselves a two star spring whiff and it's like okay quickly whatever i can make quick let's do it i can make ditch channel number eight that's charm and virility i'm trying to think Wait, I've already got a whole bunch. There's burnout. Let's do burnout because that sells for that seems to be selling really well um, and getting good reputation points for it. This one is a cream, and um, we'll show you if you haven't been watching this mini game. Is you put your pot up here, you turn on the burner underneath your ingredients, and you can see your ingredients through the little window there. I think it's kind of cute. <laughs> and so we just continue stirring until it says very runny. And it should be just barely at the halfway mark. And you get that, oh, I got an extra drop in there. That's a bummer. So I don't think this one's going to be able to be perfect. If you could get it right when it says very runny and before it puts another drop in it, which I should just slow down everything, then you can get perfect. So that's okay. This is going to be not too bad. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I got four star burnout. They sell for more. That's fantastic. And let's see what else we can make here real quick. Oh, let's see. Uh, what I'm doing here, just so you know, in case I, I didn't say it earlier, is I'm checking my ingredient list uh, spreadsheet. There's a link to it down in my description of this video that tells me what ingredients I might be able to use, what their attributes are, uh, even ones I don't know what they are yet. So we're going to go to our, ab, our abdomen, which is our go-to. Um, there's a number of things that have healing properties. And so we just choose the whistle root this time because I had enough of uh, plenty of it. Um, some things have uh, bad qualities to them. So I assume that they're really not as good a potion or a remedy as other ones. So I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if I should be using them. I assume it's okay, but I'm not sure. <laughs> So that's okay. We're going to go ahead and make this. We're trying to get as many things as we can done this morning before the shop opens at 9 o'clock. So abdomen is our go-to. I don't make a very good one because of the ingredients, I guess. It's already 8 o'clock. It's almost 9 o'clock. And I want to take a quick look at the shelf and it makes me feel better. It's like, okay, not too bad. Let's go check the fish shop and see how it did. Uh, check the board, too. Uh, Bowing Nancy, we can do that. Uh, we do have rainbow, mushrooms. I skip the ones that, that say they want a whole bunch of stuff because I don't want to give up a whole bunch of stuff. 
Um, I'm going to make friends here with our buddy Inkabod Moon. There's just, if, if you know, 10 or 15 or 20 apples and pears and other things. It, I need those things for so many other things. So I tend to uh, avoid those tasks. I may do them at later point. I don't know. Uh, we do want to keep working on a relationship with Boots, our employee. And look at that. 38. And we are now best friends with Boots. All right. Thanks for that. Uh, you begin to, here's a digit to my family box. Boots has a family box? Oh, wow. So we got a number to Boots family box. I don't know where the box is. So we're going to have to find it. Uh, we have a negative five um, for yesterday because, probably because we bought something now because we just don't, we're not selling enough stuff for our employee to cover our employees. So, uh, oh, wait a minute. They bought something there. I just realized it's there. When, Sometimes people will come in and sell things to the employee and the employee will negotiate with them. And that's what happened. I think it's a crystal bean up there. And so they purchased it. Yeah, a crystal bean. So we don't want them to resell it. So let's take that out of there. I don't even know where it is. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Um, so let's see. There it is. They paid 13 for it. And we got two reputation points for it, but I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before. So it's like, okay, interesting. I knew they buy things, um, but okay. And you can see we've only been in business. You know, you can see that it still was selling things from the shop that were already there. It had an effigy that was there. Um, so again, we can sell whatever we want in this general store, which I really like the general store for that reason. We can make it um, specialized, which is what I'm going to be doing with this um, with this save. We're going to be making it a fish market just so we can sell all of the incredible fish that we have. Um, yes, I changed my mind. <laughs> looking at the shelf, still kind of looking at it, thinking, all right, do we really need, oh, so we needed a bowing Nancy to give somebody. So we'll take one. We had 13 on the shelf, so no big deal. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Bowing Nancy is going to Holly Kettle. So we're going to make friends with the kettles and the teapots. And I, I think their names are hilarious. <laughs> they make me laugh sometimes. They're just creative and funny. And they're designed to be that way, I guess. Uh, creative and funny. Unusual. Uh, but I think they did just a fabulous job with so many parts of this game. And the, and the names are just another one of them. I think it's cute. I love it. I hit him right on that fish. Because we don't have... Remember, our fish are decreased right now because of the baby-making uh, situation. So, And it's going to be for a while because I want three kids right in a row. So um, my plan is to just do one child after another. And a shop delivery. Cool. And let's see where we are headed Aha, uh -huh. and here's where we are. Looking for books and things just in case, because I do, I've missed so many. Yeah, let's see, who's that? Oh, this is Little Copper Kettle. Holly, I didn't see Holly anywhere, so we're going to just drop off the Bowie Nancy in the mailbox. All right, 10 brass. Thank you so much. I don't know what that would have, what a potion would have sold for with that ingredient, but I don't care. <laughs> Rainbow mushroom to Arthur Brown. No surprise there that he wants a rainbow mushroom. And he should be over here somewhere. Oh, a book. And I missed it. Ah, I hate that, that I do that. Now let's give Rosemary a gift while we're here. We need to make friends with her because even if we were best friends with everybody in town, we wouldn't be her because she was a newbie to the town. All right, one heart just went up. Notice she's, she's not a baby anymore. I remembered your birthday. Yeah, I totally did. <laughs> totally, totally did. All right. Still looking for your dad. Where is he? He's usually around here somewhere. No, half the time he's in the bathroom. So anyway, we'll just drop off that mushroom and give him a low quality one since it doesn't matter. He doesn't care. And there we go. All righty. And we've already gotten his chest. So really, uh, as far as this family goes, I just want to continue making friends with their child. 
Uh, we don't care. There's The chest doesn't matter. We just want to keep making friends with her to make friends with everybody in town. That's kind of the goal we have. And everywhere around the veil is what we're focusing on to start off with. And so uh, let's kind of head up. I really need to stop using my apples. <laughs> I'm going to run out of my apples uh, if I don't watch it because I'm moving around an awful lot. But I'm lazy and want to get around quickly. And let's head to Rivermore. Rivermore has a traveling merchant that is there today. And I like to hit the merchants when I can. And for a couple of reasons. One, some of them have like uh, healing potions and things like that that we may need if we ever go into the bad, bad places. Like this person. Healing creams and a powder, which I think it's, it's tough skin powder it's called. And so I want to stock up on these. I don't like fighting. In any game, I don't like fighting. Because I want to follow the storyline a little bit in this game, I need to have some protection for me. Here's a bowing Nancy. I really wanted to get one of those too. Um, so every time I get the opportunity where the traveling merchants are running around here, I want to uh, get those healing potions and, uh, and the tough powders that make you tougher. I need those things so that I can go in and have a little bit more protection than I've had in the past. And having better weapons. He had an exclamation mark there. I thought he wanted to tell me something. And he's saying, hey, haven't we already met? Yeah, I know. Uh, oh, okay. It t it'll tell me the traveling merchant is here now. That's what it was. So uh, there's Dor Dorgon down there. He's uh, the uh, master for combat, which I really don't anticipate seeing him a whole lot. <laughs> Because I really am not into combat at all. I really don't like combat um, in any game, really. I'm not good at it, and it's frustrating. In this one, we can kind of minimize it. Uh, if you don't want to follow the storyline, you don't have to have combat at all. You can just kind of ignore it. So I do want to follow the storyline somewhat. I'm not sure uh, how far I'll get with it, but we'll see. So far, combat has not been a huge deal. But we haven't done a whole lot. So you'll get to see some of that in some upcoming episodes. Oh, a flagfish. Awesome. We needed flagfish. And I think flagfish, you can get them on windy days. And it's a very windy day. So awesome. And we have not opened up the homesteads yet. We haven't opened up the entire map. So I can't see where there might be other places to fish. Uh, we'll grab the Bowing Nancy and a date spot and the map, the entire region. Wow. <laughs> We got a whole lot done with that one little click. So that really worked out pretty well. I love that when it happens. When I do one little click and it does all these things all in a row. It's like bam, bam, bam. Okay, cool. <laughs> so what I'm looking for is any place that I could fish. It's windy. And I said I could catch um, those flagfish on windy days. I knew that. So okay. And where are the fish? There aren't any fish. <laughs> Come on. Where are you, fish? Why are you hiding from me? It appears that they are. Oh, there's a charm weed. We'll grab that. And there was a fish. I missed it. Oh, I hate that. Ugh. And then I saw another charm weed, and then I did see the fish. So awesome. So we got some charm weeds. That's great. Um, obviously, the charm weed has a charm attribute. And got a few things there. Bowing Nancy. So this was a good little trip up here, don't you think? There's that campfire I told you about that they have them all around the different places on the map. You can use it and save your game other than sleeping in your bed at home. So that was a nice add addition with the last update. And uh, so again, they are still updating this game. It's been over four months since it came out. And there was, uh, at the present moment, you can buy three different shops. Apothecary, the blacksmith, and the goods store. Um, and an upcoming update that's supposed to be within, I think, the next three months of the time of this recording, you're supposed to be able to buy the bar. And lots of people are waiting for that. They're very excited about that. And I don't know how it's going to work. We'll see. Uh, right now, I'm struggling with the two I got, trying to make them profitable. And we will see as time goes on. Oh, a poppy. Good. I love the poppies. It's got the illusion attribute. 
and that is used in quite a few of the remedies. I saw a little fish here and thought I'd give it a try. A salmon! Awesome! Uh, we'll take a salmon. And now we're in Nadia's Glory. This is Summer Down. I can't, like I said before, I cannot figure out where the markings are um, to find out what, here, this is Summer Down too. I don't know how to know where the areas are. So like if you're looking at the various, the if you're looking at the spreadsheet that I've told you guys about, it mentions that you can catch fish in Summer Down in the rivers, for instance, on a windy day. Well, I don't know where Summer Down is exactly. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so things I need to find out, I suppose. What I'm doing here is checking the fish and saying, do I need those salmon? I need two star salmon. No, yeah, two star salmon, 15 of them. So those salmon have to go in the shop because I don't need them. So, oh, I found a recipe. It pays to look around in your surroundings and not throw your fishing rod into the trees. <laughs> Again, that was another situation where I actually clicked on that and my mouse didn't recognize the click. So I'm going to have to break down and buy a mouse. I'm procrastinating because I don't like gaming mice because they have way too much stuff on them. All I want is a left mouse button, a right mouse, mouse button. I want, a, uh, obviously, the spinning wheel in the middle. I want to be able to speed up and slow down the speed. And that's it. And my current mouse has all kinds of buttons on it that I don't need. It came with my computer, so whatever. But <laughs> I'm going to have to make a purchase. And um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll just have to research it. Or you can make a suggestion. I probably haven't bought... By the time you listen to this, whenever that is, I probably haven't bought one yet. I just keep saying that I need to. <laughs> it's like one of those things. I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. It works well enough. Not great. Okay, this is still summer down. This is Festfield. So, I don't know. I Maybe I should make a list uh, of each one. Because I don't know how else to tell where these various places are. But I did see a proverb for tomato. Proverbs, yes. I don't think I've mentioned this episode that uh, I was watching a stream of someone who had been in early access and they had been told that there are over 900 proverbs. 900 proverbs. Well, I seriously doubt that in my current generation I will find them all. So hopefully my next generation will find them all. And I don't know how you would even know that. <laughs> I guess you could look at every single ingredient and every single item and see if you've got it, all the proverbs. I don't know how else to tell. Let's see what we got. Did we get a flagfish? We did. All right. I'm so excited to be getting flagfish. We need them. We need them for twig. So I was so excited. I didn't want to stop. It's like I want to fish as much as I can until there are no fish left. I saw a fish. He's hiding. Little stinker. Stinker fish. Quit hiding from me. Did you scare them away, Scarecrow? Don't do that. <laughs> Come on, flagfish. Come on to my fishing rod. I want to take you to meet Twig. Ah, uh, weed skimmer. Come on. You should be flagfish in here. I can't get down any further. At least from this direction. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, got a poppy. Yay. Oh, there's an area down here. Here we are. And maybe we can see that fish again. No, well, where'd he go? He's hiding. Sometimes the fish just take off and hide. Flat out hide. <laughs> oh, a charm weed. Okay, cool. And I got double on that, so that's cool. So again, we're just kind of exploring the area a little bit. We're looking for those flagfish. I was very excited when I started finding them because I needed them. And it was a windy day. It's like, you can only catch them on windy days. So... I was very excited to be able to find them. Oh, it's already 8 p.m. Oh, my gosh. It's getting late. Oh, my goodness. So, let's see. Let's head on down to... I wanted to go check out and see if we could get more grave lilac at the burial ground. And I wasn't sure how late it had to be for them to show up. It's 8 p.m. Grave lilac can be found on the graves at nighttime in the burial ground. So I thought I'd run down here and take a look. And that's really a great ingredient to have in your shop as well. Uh, so I thought, well, let's come down here and just check it out. Usually if I check a couple areas where I know they should be and they're not there, 
then I know I'm wasting my time. Um, so, and I can't see very good as usual. Oh, I see some. So there is grave lilac tonight. Hopefully I can run around and get it all. One that I used to miss, but I don't anymore. This is this little place up here where um, old Jacob have let, have left, had left us something. And obviously there's grave lilac tonight, so we're going to run around and get it. This, as you can see, everything's red. They have this, something called a, a blood moon, and I really don't know hard. I know nothing about it except that they happen. I don't know what they have to do with anything, but I know they happen and there's significance to them. So very interesting. So many things to learn about this game, but I've heard people talking about it on the Discord channel, which, of course, there is a link in my description of the Discord channel. Highly recommend that you get on there. You can get lots of information. More Grave Lilac, three star even. Awesomeness. So awesome there, three star. So yay. Can't see it all, but that's okay. Oh, another one, yay. Um, so check out that Discord channel. Uh, get on there and you can chat with people and they can give you all kinds of information. So lots of, lots of people use Discord for games now. It's just something people do, so. I had to learn about it myself because I didn't, and even, it's interesting, I was playing, um, what game was it? I think it was one of the um, Elder Scrolls games, and they shut down their forums, and they were directing people to go to Discord. So, you know, forums, that when I was, I'm an, old, I'm an old time gamer, and forums was how we learned stuff. Uh, that and using, you know, chat things like ICQ, which is kind of a thing of the past, but, um, um, I was shocked to see that they were shutting down the forums. Uh, for Bethesda was shutting their forums down and directing people to Discord. It's like, really? Some of us are old school here, you know? So, I don't know. Anyway, I was wandering around, and it's like, okay, it is getting super late. Let's get home. And home we go to the North Gate first, and then on over. And let's head on over and this blood moon again. Someday I'll have to figure this out, what that means, what the significant means, what it, you know, there's got to be something. Again, there's so much to this game, you know, you can sit, you can play and have it be real simple. And then there's complications. I don't know if I've clicked on this. I want to show you um, things I have not accomplished <laughs> with my uh, um, character. And it's like, oh my gosh. Yeah, we got a long ways to go. I don't know. Those are tasks that um, Fairweather kind of wants you to achieve. And I don't know what happens if you don't. And I don't know what happens if you do. Good. My tomatoes were ready. So I don't know. I don't know is a, is a, uh, a very constant thing here that I'm saying to you. As I don't know. A couple of whistle roots. Yay. And all right. We've got a berry on our nightberry bush. Grab that. Come over here and see if I can see anything over here. I'm looking. I thought I saw a fish. Again, I clicked at my mouse. It didn't click. And where was that fish at? Up here, maybe? There he is. And it's an eel. Okay. They sell pretty good in the shop, so that's okay. That wasn't what I was hoping for. I don't even... I think there's river trouts in here. I'm not sure. And I don't know what season has different things, so... And at this point, I don't care. I'm not looking for anything in particular. Oh, got it right on the head. Weed skimmer. Come on. There's got to be some moonfish in here. Surely. Surely. Got to be a moonfish. Are you hiding from me? It's a red moon, so maybe there'd be something special. I don't know. <laughs> Come on. Where are you? I saw him swimming around. There we are. Oh, a weed skimmer. Big deal. So let's go up and try to grab that whistle root up here in the dreamer's nook. And um, when you first leave, this is the first place that I left. When I left the farm, this is it. Because I got sent up here by Twig. Or got sent to Twig by, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Was it Uncle Bill that sent you here? I'm not sure. As a child, as you're learning your way around. And it's it, when you first start out, you are a child. You're 13 years old, and it's called the prologue. 
And basically, it teaches you things that you need to know to play the game, just some real basic stuff. It's kind of, it's basically, it is the tutorial. Uh, a lot of people get complained about it. I don't, it doesn't bother me. Whoa, three star. Awesome. I think I might have some fish for Twig. I'm not 100% sure that I did or didn't. I couldn't remember, so I thought I'd come up here. Oh, yeah, a uh, flagfish. And I want to give them to them so that I don't accidentally sell them. So we need eight more or seven more, so that's fine. And we don't have any of those yet. That's okay. I And I used to stop, not come up here until I had whatever it was. But I decided, no, I'll take them as soon as I get them. Because if I don't, I may accidentally sell them. And it also lets me know that I can sell all of the one-star ones or whatever of whatever it is. So, cool. All right. So, uh, knocking our fruits off the bushes here, off the trees. And uh, grab them in this blood moon. It's really kind of creepy looking, isn't it? <laughs> so anyway, I don't know. Again, I don't know what it's about. We'll find out another time. Not this time. Do we have anything on? Oh yeah, the bushes, all everything. There's fruits and berries everywhere. My gosh. So we'll get them all picked up. You notice I've been completely ignoring my pig, and that's okay. He'll just lay there until we need. Oh look at this, a gift from Boots. What does he send us? Uh, hopefully something good. A proverb for a blind Mary. Cool. And we got an account summary for the uh, moon and sun's emporium. And our balance is 235 is what we made. And we gained 72 reputation. So this that was the good shop. And this is the apothecary 386. We gained 2180 in reputation. Now that's a good reason to have a shop. Whew. Oh, goodness. Annual Vegetables Show. Make your way to Fine Fair on the 12th of Autumn. Okay. So we have a vegetable show. So we need to collect the best vegetables we can and be ready for that on the 12th in Mellowfields at Fine Fair. So awesome. And so I, I want to do the best that I, I want to do the best fruits and vegetables that I can so that we can enter that. It really pays to enter these, fest these, uh, con these what do you call them, the, uh, uh, these contests and things. It really pays to enter them because you get reputation and you get gifts and stuff. I also decided to go ahead and plant in the dark. It's like, why am I doing this? I don't know. It might rain tomorrow. <laughs> Who knows? Go ahead and plant the seeds that I have. I've been collecting seeds. Um, some of these things are gonna be used for gifts. Some of them are gonna use for cooking. Some of them will be used for ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead and just get things planted. Uh, I, can, I can see well enough what I'm doing here. And if it rains, it waters it for you. I have found that for the most part, it rains enough so that you don't have to um, water things yourself. So uh, just planting everything that I can. These are the seeds that I collected during the time. And you see it's morning, I can almost see now. Um, there's one of the boons you can choose is to collect seeds from weeds that you hack down. And I love that benefit. So um, I went ahead and grabbed as many as I could. Um, it's also, I noticed it's 5 a.m. and I wanted to get to town as quickly as I could. Um, and hopefully I will, I wanted to view my offering. So collect herb yields too, baby more likely. So I really don't have anything that's going to, um, let's see, Luted Star Fauna. Nope, it's nothing that's gonna hurt my, I thought am I might making a big mistake by planting the stuff. And the answer was, no, I'm not making a big mistake. I can go ahead and plant it. Um, because there are boons that can help you uh, with whenever you harvest things. So I wanted to make sure that um, I could harvest things. Right now I'm planting pumpkins. And so I know we needed pumpkins for, I think we needed them for either, was it marshite? I'm not sure. Um, I know we need a lot of that kind of thing, but we'll get, if we, if we do it too soon and we needed it, we'll go back and get it. Uh, I have this thing about planting the same thing in each plot. So I wanted to make sure that I have at least eight in each plot to plant something. And this is going to be for wheat, which we can turn into flour, which we can use for our baking needs. So... Um, the, I know that they, this has been called an RPG sandbox farming simulator. I think it's really not fair to call it a farming simulator 
because the farming is, is such a small part of this game. I mean, yeah, you're seeing me farm here, but you can't change your farming plots. You can't choose where. Um, you can use boons to help you as far as the harvesting of your stuff. But really, I, I think it's really not a good description to call it a farming simulator. I would call it something else. Uh, RPG, role playing um, game where you can uh, have a farm, own shops, raise a family, all those things. Yes, farming, minor. So I'm going to save right there. That's going to be the end of our episode. Thank you so much for following me along. If you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel. It makes YouTube like me better and lets me know I'm doing something that other people find valuable. The most important thing is I want you to have a wonderful rest of your day.